up guys what is going on welcome back to the channel let's get that noise out of there because it's the trucks that are outside and i know it's dark i haven't gotten a chance to do anything with that mid gate today um also the truck is able to go but he's not paying attention anyway i didn't get a chance to do anything with this mid gate today because uh, i had a lot going on i had a lot of other things to take care of i didn't even get to get the sandpapers the stuff that i needed um there's a tool that i also wanted to get so i'm gonna look for that tomorrow when i get that tool that tool will help me cut down so much of that bondo it's gonna be a big help way better than the da it's just gonna scrape that crap off i forgot the name of it anyway today's topic of the video came from a guy named jeremy cross jeremy cross loves the avalanche videos and from what i can remember his question is ryan my avalanche is making a strange noise since i replaced the rear shocks here's the story that what happened well that what happened that even makes sense here's the story what happened jeremy cross young jeremy cross ended up removing his two shocks never supported the diff jeremy cross i made that mistake my friend i know where this is going Diff fell. Almost hit this guy across the street because I couldn't see him. Diff fell. Springs came out. Jeremy Cross, you in for a world of problems. No, it's all right. It's an easy fix. Anyway, so Jeremy Cross popped back in the spring, said he aligned it as best as he could, put on the shocks. Everything's working fine. As he's driving, he hits a speed bump. What does he hear? He hears a doing, doing, doing. That's obviously the coil springs. Goes back underneath, checks the springs. Nothing has misplaced, everything is working fine. Goes over another speed bump. Doing, doing, doing. He doesn't know what it is. So, Jeremy Cross, here is the answer. I am 99.9% .9 sure you did not align that spring correctly. If you look at it, what is happening? It's rubbing against your frame look at the spring underneath the vehicle go underneath look at the coil spring and i guarantee you it's touching against the frame of the vehicle it's rubbing on something metal so every time you drive it is making that doing sound unfortunately i learned the hard way uh when that happened i searched all through youtube didn't find anything on that matter didn't know what the heck to do and I knew it was something to do with the spring when I kept hearing that only over speed bumps. As you're driving, you don't hear it. Only through speed bumps or, or a bump or anything, you hear it. So <clears throat> go underneath the vehicle, look. I'm just looking at the coil spring, just laying there like, man, I really don't know what to do. And actually there was a point where I was gonna give up on that suspension check and buy a lift kit and just throw it in the avalanche because I was just like, screw it maybe it's just gone through i was even gonna buy springs maybe the springs are bad i said let me look at it one more time i go underneath i look at it one more time and what do i find i find that both not just one both my coil springs were rubbing against the frame they weren't seated correctly so all you have to do is really easy get a jack support it on the rear diff first Obviously, after you lift the vehicle up, put it on jack stands, make sure everything is safe. Make sure you're 100% safe because you do not want that falling on you and killing you. So make sure it's on jack stands, 100% safe. Then what you do is take the jack, put it under the rear diff, support the rear diff a little bit, loosen the bolts for both sides of the uh, shocks, or you could do one side at a time. I did one side at a time. Loosen the first side, drop it slow. When you drop it slow, you're gonna be able to, where the heck is the light in here? All right, so when you drop it slow, you're, terrible lighting guys. Let me try to switch. Let me try to get this out here. All right, so when you drop it slow, what you're gonna do is obviously adjust the uh, first coil, kind of hold it up, have a second person helping you, Jack it up a little bit. When you jack it up a little bit, get some tension on the spring. So it, uh, not too much tension, but a little bit. So it stays in this place and then hook up the shock and then work on the other side. Once you work on the other side, go take it for a test drive. I guarantee you 
that noise will be gone. So, Jeremy Cross, I hope this video helped you because it sure as heck was an issue when I couldn't find it. So, I'm hoping this information helps someone. Check that that coil spring is not rubbing against the metal because you will go crazy looking for this. And I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's your problem. 1% for, you know, something else, but 99.9% .9 sure. Check it out, Jeremy Cross. If you like this video, please make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, guys. Support your boy because nobody buying stickers anymore. I don't know what's going on, but uh, I'm just kidding. Um, they're actually almost sold out. So if you guys want any, just hit me up on my DMs or whatever it is, and y'all can get it. I think I have like five or six left. I have to put another order. Um... Yeah, if you guys want him, hit me up on my DMs. If not, cool. Support the channel by giving me a like. And also, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Because every subscription helps. I'll see you all for the next one. Peace!